Hello guys, welcome to another video in this series of tutorial on Angular material with Angular. In this video we will learn another important UI element which is widely used in most of the websites or applications that is date picker. Date picker is the UI element by using which users can enter a date either through text input or by choosing a date from the calendar. In Angular material, a date picker is a composition of text input and a calendar pop-up which are connected together. Let's learn how we can add a date picker in our Angular application. There are mainly three steps for adding a date picker like any other Angular material UI elements in Angular application. We'll discuss all those one by one now. The first step is we need to import four modules in app.model.ds file. The first module which we need to import is mat form field module which is required for the form which we are using for our date picker. And this can be imported from angular materials form field library. And the second module which we need to import is mat input module which is required for the input fields which we are using in our date picker. In the date picker, we are just providing one input field where users can enter the date manually as well. For that purpose, we need this module. This can be imported from Angular Materials input library. And the third module which is particularly is required for our date picker. This is the main module along with the fourth module which we will be importing. The third module is Mad Date Pickers module. If you are using Angular 7 or below, it can be imported from angular material library directly and if you are using angular 8 or above you can import this one from angular materials date pick library similarly as i said fourth module is also imported one which is required for particularly for date picker that is mat native date module similar to the third module if you are using angular 7 or below version for your application you can import this fourth module directly from Angular's material. And if you are using Angular 8 or above, this module can be imported from Angular Materials core library. So the third module and the fourth module are important ones. And if you are using Angular 7 or below, these two modules can be directly imported from Angular Material library. If you are using Angular 8 or above, Matte Date Picker module can be imported from Materials Date Picker library and Matte Native Date module can be imported from Materials Core module. These are the four modules which we need to import in app.model.ts file. Then the second step is we need to add these four modules in the imports library of app.model.ts file. And the third or final step is we need to use the date picker component or UI element wherever we required in our HTML template file. As I said earlier, date picker is a composition of text input and a calendar pop-up. So it consists of a combination of input and calendar pop-up elements. So in the HTML template first we need to have a mat form field which will be acting as a outer tag element. Within this one, first we will be mentioning mat label, which will be a label or a title for our calendar. Then we will be adding one input element. So this will be input element or input field where users can manually enter date as well. And if we choose any date from date picker, that will be shown in this input field. And the next element which we need to have or the next tag which we need to have is mat hint. This is nothing but a placeholder for our mat date picker. And the final two tags which are important tags, those are particularly about date picker. That is mat date picker toggle and mat date picker. As you can observe here, we have defined a reference variable by name picker. And we have attached this one with the mat date picker toggle by using for here. So these two are the main elements which are required along with these other form elements. So let's see all these steps practically in our Angular application. I have a Angular application here. In this one currently I have only one header by name date picker. If you preview this one in browser you can observe we have only one title here. 
as we know now the first step for this one is if we need to import four modules in app.module.ts file so let me quickly add those four modules here in the imports section as we know we need to import mat form module mat input module mat date picker module and mat native date module so this is the first step of our process of adding date picker the next step is we need to import these four modules in the imports array here i will copy these four modules and paste it here now we are done with our second step where we have imported these four modules in the imports array and the third step or the final step is we need to add the code for our date picker and we know this is the code which we need to add in our date picker let me copy this one and paste it in our html template now we have code for our date picker along with hint and input field so let me save all files here and go back to browser to preview this one now we can see a date picker icon here on click of which we get a date picker pop up and when we select any date the chosen date will be filled in the input field which we have added in our code along with this one this date picker have predefined navigations to next and previous months and it has a year picker as well users can select different years based on their choice and as we mentioned earlier users can enter date by selecting a date from our date picker pop up or they can enter the dates manually here as well for that one also there is a provision in this angular materials date picker so these are the steps which we need to perform to add any date picker in our angular application this is one of the most widely used ui element in any websites or applications that's it guys for this video thanks for watching this if you like this video please click on like button share it with others and subscribe to my channel